Being experts on Trader Workstation is important at Maverick Trading. All Maverick traders use Trader Workstation to place their stock and option trades and have been doing that for 12 plus years. Our traders need to be perfect on the platform as they trade our capital and keep 70 to 80% of the profits they generate. We're happy to release some of our TWS training to the public as we know TWS can be an intimidating software. If you're ready to become a professional stock and option trader, click on the application link in the description below. Now on to our TWS tutorial. All right, so interactive brokers interest rates. This is kind of an interesting topic where most of your capital sitting at your broker is not earning anything. Some of them will pay you a little. You can see Wells Fargo will pay you 1%. And these are rates shown um, to IBKR Pro clients. If you're in the IBKR Lite, this does not apply. But if you're in IBKR Pro, you can be collecting a much larger amount of interest on cash that's sitting in your account unused. And it's really surprising how many people hold a lot of cash. So this could be significant. 4.83% versus your E-Trade account, versus your JP Morgan account, versus your Schwab account, where they're paying you next to nothing. Now, there are some requirements as to how much you're going to get versus how much capital you have in there. And it's based on tiers. You can see that if you have over $10,000 in the account in cash being unused, your rate of return here at IB, even within an IBKR light, is pretty significant. If you have less than 10000 well, then they're not paying you anything. So it has to be cash that is over that benchmark. But once you have over that 10000 in cash, that's just sitting there, you don't have to put it into treasuries or some other things manually. It's just going to be collecting that interest. And this is true of bank accounts, of course, as well. If you've got your money in savings accounts and such, you're collecting these types of interest rates and you're not getting what you should be getting. Right now, short-term treasuries, uh, cash equivalent type of assets, are paying some real yield. So if your unused cash is just sitting there, at least at a broker like Interactive Brokers, you're collecting something of substance. Now, if you enter the cash balance, let's say that we had 15,000 sitting there, unused, uh, net asset value, let's say we've got $100,000 or something in the account, calculate your blended rate, it will tell you that, okay, upper tier, cut off above the tier cut off so you'd have 10,000 upper tier okay the first 10,000 you're collecting nothing anything above that you're collecting that interest so the first 10 again you're collecting zero but anything above that in cash balances would be collecting that interest and on an annualized basis that's $241.50 now imagine you are somebody that kept a large, large cash balance at $40,000. If we calculate that blended rate, the first 10, nothing, but above that tier cutoff, you're getting that interest, and that's almost $1,500 for the year that you would not get at an E-Trade, a Bank of America, a City, a Schwab account, and so forth. So that's a little bit more on interest rates and how they work on unused cash at Interactive Brokers.